this is Regi from Rise a Letter Signs. I'm here with a flip through of this butterfly journal, which I've been working on for, yeah, it feels like forever. And it's finally done. So I just wanted to pop on here to show you what I've created. So this is the front cover with those butterflies and some corner embellishments and some lace and some words and the spine has a little plate here with the title butterfly beauty and the back cover is the same style as the front just without um, the butterflies and it's tied up with a purple sari silk where i've added those beautiful glass beads i found at my local flea market and the size is approximately nine by six inches so let's dig in in the front here i've added a just a little tuck where I've put in some, some butterfly embellishments for you to, to put on the pages. And I found this beautiful, beautiful embellishment at my local flea market and I just had to get it. It was, I just thought it was perfect for this, for this um, journal. So of course I had to get it. And, um, yeah, just some coffee dyed paper. Here's some uh, sheet music with a little paper clip with a butterfly stamp and some collaging and some ledger paper, some more coffee dyed with some more collaging. Here's a in in a vintage form. It the paper almost feels like um tissue paper so it's very thin and fragile here I've added a a border where I collaged with some stamps and some words I've also uploaded this to my Instagram this border here and here's some uh, glassing and here's a belly band with a journaling card. And some book page. And another vintage um, letter, I think. And here's a folio I've created with some little collaging. And it flips open like this. And there's a pocket here, and a pocket here, and a pocket here. And in here I've added this vellum tag. And here I've added another butterfly tag with journaling space on the back. Some more book page. And here's another journaling card, or tag if you would, with journaling space on the back. And it's just attached here with a paper clip. Here's some more border uh, collaging and some more collaging, some more sheet music, some more ledger. Here's a, I don't know what it is, a receipt, I think. And some more coffee dyed. Here's some map pages and some sewing paper. Some more coffee dye and that sewing paper and the other side of that map. Here I've made a little butterfly stamp with some different inks. It took a while to get it right, but I I think it turned out great. The other side of that receipt. And up here I've added a paper clip just in the same style as the front cover. Some more sheet music and some more coffee dye 
and another belly band with a journaling card. Some more book page on the other side of that flip out. And here there's more ephemera, a tag, and another tag. And just some collaging. Book page, some more cover dies. The other side of that glassine, some more sheet music, and the other side of that tissue paper like form. Here's a collage tuck spot, some more ledger paper, some more collaging, some more sheet music, and here's a bookmark. I've shown this on my Instagram as well. And that was the first signature. And here's some collaging, some vintage leather, and some more border, border collaging. And here's another journaling card attached with a paper clip. Some more map paper. Here's a double pocket. And the same paper I used for the inside of the cover. Some more collaging, some more glassine. One, uh, another one of those um, paper clips with butterfly stamps. Some more uh, tissue paper-like form. Here's a vellum uh, envelope attached with those this uh, beautiful rose gold paper clip with some collaging. And in here there's a journaling card. Here's a paper clip with a beautiful glittery butterfly. Some more book page, some more sheet music, some more ledger, and another belly band with a bingo journaling card. Some more letter, some more sheet music. Here's another one of those collages. Here's a, an envelope attached again with those beautiful rose gold paper clips. And in here, there's these two journaling cards or ephemera. Mm -hmm. Some more sewing paper, some more ledger, I can't remember at the moment how much, how many papers or pages there's in here, but I, of course I will, I will find out and tell you. Some more sheet music, some more of the letter, another one of those little collages. Here's another envelope attached with a paper clip with some collaging and a wax seal stamp on the back side and in here there's another uh, journaling card um, a specimen card if you will Another paper clip. Whoops. Some more book page. And sheet music. Another one another one of those border collages. 
you can see the other side of that tissue like um, foam. Some more book page with some handwritten notes down here. Some more Gossine, some more coffee dye, and some more map paper. A little collaging, some more letter, another belly band with another journaling card. Some coffee dyed. And in the back here I've created a, another tuck spot with a journaling card. With journaling space on the back. And up here I've of course added my book plate which says who created this. So I've just counted the pages off camera and in total there's 176 pages front and back and one insert. So there's a lot, a lot of room to journaling on or to journal on or to create beautiful decorations. Um, yeah, what should I else tell you? I don't know. This this butterfly, butterfly beauty will be listed in my Etsy shop. Um, actually, it will be listed by the time this video goes up. So, so it is already listed in this in my Etsy shop, and I will link my shop below, so you can go there and check it out if you want. Um, and um, I think that was it. So thank you for watching. And um, happy crafting and have a nice day. Bye.